If an electrical appliance becomes faulty, so that an abnormally high current passes, we need a way of breaking the circuit to stop it from functioning before it gives you a nasty shock. This is when we need what's called a fuse. It sits nicely inside of a plug. It's a tiny glass tube with a metal wire inside. A fuse is considered a sacrificial electrical component. You'll see why in a moment. This is the electrical symbol for a fuse. I'm going to connect it in a circuit with a variable power supply and a light bulb to show you how it can be used to protect the user as well as protecting other electrical components. If I turn the power supply up, the currents going through the light bulb will increase. I can continue doing this, increasing the current until the bulb gets so hot that it blows. But luckily, I have a fuse here. If the current gets too high, the wire inside the fuse will get so hot that it melts. Then we no longer have a complete circuit. Not having a complete circuit means that current cannot flow. So in sacrificing the fuse, we protected our more expensive light bulb. Fuses have different ratings. A fuse with a rating of 8 amps means that it will break when the current is at 8 amps. If this is a hair dryer that functions with a 6 amp current, what fuse rating do you need? You want to use a fuse rating slightly higher than 6 amps, say a 7 amp fuse. And if the fuse melts at any point, you can always just check out the melted fuse inside the plug and replace it cheaply with a new one.